blowing my account. I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I'm not destined to be a forest trader. These and that and other things is what has been going on in the life of people. And a lot has been going on so far that we can no longer keep silent about it. And the market is always going on and on every now and then. And the problem is how do we save ourselves from the dying world? How do we save ourselves from the dying traders who always wish to come out successfully only for them to discover that they have just ended up messing things up that never worked for them? How do we save ourselves to find ourselves moving in this direction instead of us trying to find ourselves going against the trend, thinking that everything is going to work for good. At the end of the day, nothing happens. So please, what can I do? Please help me. Please help me. I hardly trade a candle. It's unbelievable. I hardly trade a candle. Do you believe that I've never caught a spike all my life? Can you believe that I've never made at least a minimum of three dollars a day, a week, possibly a month? Everything you trade always end up bringing you to zero. You know, it's very, very painful. So please, what can I do? I'm going to show you one simple thing you can do. And once you do that, you must not trade every day that is my piece of advice you must not trade every day always look for one positive entry point and once you see that jump into the trade and go your way now let me quickly add up one indicator that i will be using in my main chart and i'll be adding another indicator i'll be using in um another indicator that i'll be using in my window one now listing every indicator i'm adding here is also applicable to smartphones anything you are using if you can lay your hand on any charts whatever you are using anything you are using apply this is going to work for you perfectly now what i'm going to sit here will surprise you because you have seen it before but you never know some of those things because it's going to be a huge surprise to you now i will be adding my first moving average the first moving average i'll be adding i'll be adding moving average 25 this is the first one i'll be adding this is moving average 25 mark it this is moving average 25 mark it clearly then i'll be adding another moving average this time we have i'll be adding moving average 21 i'll be changing the color from this angle i uh, think i should i should make this one now to be blue now this is moving average 21 and 25 are you see are you seeing the similarity 21 and 25 matter of four days different all right now let's take this surprising one let's take this surprising one i'll be adding this one now moving average 12 you know moving average 12 this time i'll be going with a different color though no no this one will not be that clean let me add up something like this good good did you see it this is moving average 12. remember what i am using for those who will say uh, you did not give us an indicator because we have separate time that will give this is 12. this is 21 and this is 25. this is what you we'll have then we'll be adding the overall indicators that will be bringing everything to our doorsteps this time we'll be adding 50. if you are using small accounts please stop at 21 stop at the 25 let 25 be your highest moving average but if you have anything bigger than that you are free to add it this is what we have here then finally in the main chart let's add up let's add up something that will help us to clarify our doubts but be careful when you are using this because it may confuse you if you are not careful enough let me make it black good be careful when you are using this so that it will not confuse you you know now before adding any other thing let me just show you how you can do a magic using this very thing it's as simple as anything but based on the level of knowledge and you know we will ask people to learn 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 for us learn for us find a mentor pay for someone to teach you they say no they will keep watching videos on youtube and the more they keep trying sometimes it will favor them sometimes it will not favor them it makes them to lose many opportunities can you believe that someone can take a hundred dollar account 
and a hundred dollar account do you believe that someone can take a hundred dollar account and move that hundred dollar account to be one thousand to ten thousand do you believe that yes it is possible if you have the knowledge you can do this but have this in mind room was not built in a day you cannot do it just by clicking you can do it by having something upstairs you know when you have something upstairs when you can think right you know once you can think right you have something to produce you know so get that stress so what how can you do what can you do with this set of market in the now what can you do with this now the moving averages you have i want you to pay attention to one particular moving average this is particular moving average you know one challenge you have in this is that most people are using smartphone you know and once you're using smartphone you possibly have a portrait position like this so once the phone once this 200 moving average is crossing to me cross something like this so making it difficult that the market that will be coming may come like this then you think that it have crossed at this as this so for that reason you place your trade on it for you to see it and come back here then it will never return back to this place again instead you touch here and keep going down keep going down by so doing it may not look as if the strategy has failed or something like nature so that is why it is practically a kind of something that demand that once you want to place your trade um using your smartphone is better you turn your phone to be on a landscape like this you know you place your phone to become an or uh, you turn you turn it to be on a horizontal level like this so that once the market is making the 200 moving average is making a move and then it will be easier for you to see it you know crossing touching and crossing so that it will be easy for you to see a clear breakout from the market so that not when you see a market crossing that is retracing to make a move then by still doing you think that everything uh is is set like what happened here and what happened here you know what happened here and exactly what happened here the market crossed the 200 line crossed from this place and moved to this place so anyone that is a trader would think that the market have changed direction completely only for it to come back here and moved more than it moved in this angle like what happened in this place you see so it crossed here and later cross over to this place so if you're not careful about this you think that the market have changed direction completely only for you to see that the last candle that crossed here was the last one that never crossed again until what happened here and here also so that's why you should be very careful so what are you going to be doing using this very strategy you are seeing here just this moving averages alone is enough for you to make entries and make good profit let me show you something here number one thing you should be careful to know is that you should know the shape of the moving averages now you have heard about this several times but yet to make profit with it is still a problem to you now watch out what you're going to do first thing first look out for a market joining all together in this place this thing does not mean that the market have changed direction this thing does not mean that you are about to place trade this thing simply means that in a period of 26 days period of 25 days period of 50 days period of 200 days that the market has been moving in this direction that finally the market has started moving in this direction that is why you are seeing all this crossing so in future in future trade the market will be pushing that is why you also see that the market is started moving up in this direction please follow these things so what moving averages can do is to help you to see the direction of the market you know to show you the direction of the market using price action so that is one of the need for you to understand it so once you see this the next thing for you to do is now that you have confirmed that the market is pointing in this direction so the moving averages will show you how the market looks like without anybody showing. so it's not just an assumption so when you are chatting on your candle you can only see a candle that is moving in this direction this one this one this one this one this one you know but once you have this is now show you how the candle really looks like so in 12 days how does it look like this is the shape of it the candle is pointing down ah in 21 days how does it look like so in five minutes time frame 
in 10 minutes time frame 20 minutes time frame any time frame you are you are seeing you know sometimes they will make a different from the shape of the candle but for you not to be confused because of how that place look like so it's better you go to your higher time frame possibly from your one hour time frame start there if you want to be successful and make cool cash in the forest world please take this advice from me always look for a position from the higher time frame then go down to the one minute five minutes 15 minutes and place your trade if you have small account but if you're looking for a a, a a kind of entry point in your lower time frame and you find those things in your lower time frame when the candle in your higher time frame is saying a different thing it will definitely confuse you and if you're not careful enough enough it will flush you out of the market so once you have find out then you know that the market is saying that this is the entry point this is the position of the market so with that you now said okay now you now look for that particular candle that will cross the resistance levels or the support zone you know since you have checked your key levels then the next thing you will be asking yourself is what is the line that is crossing the key level let me show you this diagram so that it, you we will use it as now once we have a market that is moving in this direction we have a market that is moving this direction this is the market don't mind what i'm trying but i'm coming so this is the market in in uh, as this market is going now now let's just take it that the market moved from this direction and touched in this line and moved up again and come here and moved again and come here moved again then the market is here then here becomes your key point key point key point there is something i want you to know here and it is very very important you know it once this market cross here please don't be too fast to close it allow this market to give you a kind of challenge the challenge is if it crosses and maybe become a weak candle and sort of nature that is when you should confirm it that it has finally broken out though in some cases that the market can break from here and move with with speed to an extent that you cannot stop it so once you have find out that this thing can happen like this please do yourself a favor enter with the lowest loss size your account can carry the lowest loss size if the market moves in that direction and give you profit when the market will give you profit that even if it reverses against you that you cannot lose once the market gives you the profit then hold for a while then start adding more position that can that your profit can accumulate get that straight that your profit can accumulate so if you assess it and discover that the market is responding to what you are doing then you are good to go but off from that one alone let me show you one one more thing that you can do in this i know what i'm saying that can be a little bit confusing to some people but i know that some of you who are fast learners will grab this and make use of this thing now look at what happened in this place in this place some people would think that the market is, is going to move in this direction there is something i want you to know once this market have crossed in this level with a bearish candle be careful with it once this candle have crossed in this place with a bearish candle be careful with it and once the candle cross 200 moving average with a bullish candle be careful with it that is one thing i want you to know be careful with it immediately that candle that crosses closes with the same candle please be more mindful because something is going to drop watch what is happening here watch 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 here watch here once this one crossed as a bullish and openness as a bullish then the market is showing a move once this one crossed over to this place as a bearish and the next one as a bearish look at the end of it watch this place it touched at this place it never moved again but it was confirmed by bearish bearish then the next one becomes bearish i don't think i don't know how to explain this so that people will understand but this is how simple this market can be there are technical terms there are technical things that ordinarily you cannot see it ordinarily you cannot see it but it helps you to understand the nature of the market once you have this running my mindset in you you know so this is how simple this thing can be now since this is one hour time frame what what can you do as a as one who want to do your skyping 
once you have confirmed this that this thing is moving in this direction that this one have crossed the 200 moving average you said all right and everything have crossed in this place then you enter your skyping and this is where it will take you as simple as that what is hard then for you not to make series of mistake doing this i urge you to go to your lower time frame and use your demo to do this why did i mention lower time frame if you find an opportunity like this in your lower in your higher time frame go to your lower time frame and trade these these things each of these candle here is 60 candles each of them here is 60 candles in one minute time frame so you can imagine when you place a trade and your candle is counting up to 40 something and i've never seen one spike that will that will accumulate up to five uh, up to up to 40 candles no the longest candle can take at least uh, at least if i'm not mistaken 12 candles so you have you must have crossed the spike zone you know from there the next one can come and uh, it will be the second and third spike that will reach that place but before then you you will see it because what it will do is that even if you spike it will still retrace and spike again and retrace once the market is on that uh, once it's on a selling position once the momentum is too strong the market will give you what you want so try this thing and see if it will not help you and if this thing helps you please don't forget to give our video a thumbs up and always subscribe to our channel my name is gdfs will always like to give you what you want i will always like to show you that in this world forest trading should not beat you black and blue and push you out sometimes you should have the strategy that will help you to beat the market and come out successfully listen one more time no matter what you think you know if you don't have the right knowledge you always lose a lot and remember what you never learn you will use your capital to learn it that is one thing about life if you are still hustling to find out how people how big boys succeed in forest trading remember almost every big boy in forest trading have a mentor i do do you have no if you don't have please look for one because a lot is involved in forest trading beyond what you watch here alone thank you so much and subscribe to our channel and i wish to see you join our telegram group because in this fresh month i'll be dropping fresh signals there because i want everyone to be closing at least hundred dollars hundred dollars that is my target so gdfs so much love you thank you so much